Hi guys, Dr. Rob Bankton here with some more nutrition advice. Um, I'd like to talk today uh, about aspartame. Uh, now, most people are aware of aspartame. Most people have heard the name. Uh, it's a non-calorific sweetener. Uh, it's used in products, uh, usually uh, diet products, uh, in order to be able to replace sugar so that it can provide uh, a sweet taste uh, without providing any of the calories that uh, are associated with um, sweetening uh, these products with sugar. Um, Aspartame. I don't want to go too much uh, into the dangers of aspartame because I have written uh, articles on aspartame on my blog. So if you're interested in understanding how it's digested uh, and perhaps some of the uh, problems associated with aspartame consumption, uh, you can go to my blog and you can uh, read those articles. But as an overview, the nutritional literature does show uh, that in sensitive individuals uh, there are um, acute uh, neurological changes associated with consuming aspartame. Aspartame may also uh, be carcinogenic. It's been shown to be carcinogenic in animals. There is very limited data on humans uh, but there's no reason to uh, suspect that uh, it is, is safe in that regard. Um, obviously the poison is in the dose. Consuming less aspartame will obviously be safer than consuming more and to be fair some of the animal studies have used very very high concentrations uh, of aspartame uh, but there is evidence there there is there are studies you can find where more physiological relevant um, and nutritionally relevant uh, amounts of aspartame have been used uh, and these problems do persist at that level uh, obviously it's very difficult to um, follow a uh, human consuming aspartame over a long period of time uh, for, for various reasons uh, so it's actually very difficult to work out the long-term toxicity uh, of s substances such as aspartame but there is evidence there that it is certainly carcinogenic it certainly does cause neurological uh, changes in, in sensitive individuals um, but you know that's that's something that you really need to research yourself uh, the dangers are probably exaggerated a, a little in the mainstream media but certainly I try not to consume uh, any aspartame at all uh, I don't believe it's uh, it's safe and I, I don't believe um, consuming the types of products uh, that it's often found in uh, is is a way to make a healthy diet um, what I really want to talk about today was uh, the way that aspartame is actually now being added uh, to foods other than diet products. Originally, obviously, aspartame um, was added to uh, diet drinks and that kind of uh, uh, other other foods where uh, the, the sugar was removed. Uh, and I can I can understand the reason why the food manufacturers did that. Uh, there was a market for non-calorific uh, soft drinks, and they provided. Uh, the product. Uh, I don't agree with drinking those uh, types of product but I can understand why they did that. Now what is a little bit more uh, worrying is the fact that aspartame is now turning up in a lot of foods alongside sugar. Uh, if you go to the supermarket and you look at the orange squashes for example, they're the, uh, the types of drink where you, you mix them with water and they produce an orange drink or a, um, uh, you know, a black currant drink or whatever, uh, you'll find that many of them uh, are sweetened with sugar and they also have artificial sweeteners uh, in, on the ingredients uh, and that artificial sweetener is often aspartame. So the question is, why are the food manufacturers adding aspartame to foods that are already sweetened with sugar? Uh, is there an agenda here? Um, you should really be reading the food labels on all the foods that you buy. You cannot trust the food manufacturers. They will put anything uh, they can into a food within the law in order to be able to increase profits. They have no morals. Corporations don't have morals. They have uh, an agenda to make profits. And within the law, and sometimes outside of the law, they will do all they can uh, to be able to increase those profits. So you have to uh, remember, caveat emptor, you have to remember buyer beware. Uh, it, the onus is on you to check the labels. And if you do go and check the labels of these types of products, you will see that sugar is now often alongside aspartame. So get going back to the question, why are the food manufacturers sweetening these products with both sugar and aspartame? It would seem very um, obvious to me that if you're adding sugar, you don't need to add an artificial sweetener as well. So um, my opinion is that they're trying to make these um, products super sweet, uh, which makes them super addictive, uh, which actually makes you buy more of them. Um, humans 
consuming a typical Western diet, um, they become accustomed to the sweetness of their diet. And if you can increase the sweetness, um, there is a certain um, biochemical reaction in the in the brain to sweet foods that makes you want to consume more of them. Um, that's the uh, you know the only reason I can think of for doing this. And if that is the case. Um, then that's quite worrying because uh, they're obviously trying to uh, get you to consume more and more of these drinks um, and they do contain two substances which uh, have been shown to be metabolic poisons the aspartame certainly uh, in sensitive individuals uh, and if consumed in high amounts over long term uh, is certainly a metabolic poison uh, and sugar is a known metabolic poison sugar is made up of a glucose molecule atta attached to a fructose molecule and that fructose moiety uh, passes to the liver and in high concentrations it causes um, detrimental effects um, in, in terms of producing fatty acids which can cause insulin resistance so there's no doubt that sugar is a metabolic poison uh, and aspartame uh, is very likely a metabolic poison uh, you put these two together and have a product that is really um, quite toxic um, I think what I'm going to recommend from this is is really you need to read the labels um, if you're consuming a lot um, of these um, orange squashes and this type of food really you need to look at your diet these are not the types of food you should be incorporating regularly uh, into your diet they're not part of a high quality diet um, if you are consuming them thinking that perhaps they're free of aspartame because they contain sugar uh, I just recommend that you have a look at the labels you need to read the labels on everything um, the food manufacturers like I say can't be trusted you need to take uh, control and uh, you need to take control of your own nutrition uh, and your own fate uh, and you need to do a bit of research before you buy these products um, obviously uh, you know the general public uh, are misled to a large, a large extent on this um, food manufacturers know how to hide things they know how to um, make the labels look uh, the front the label on the front of the product look like it's a healthy product and then you turn it over you read the ingredients label and you find there's all sorts of um, all sorts of things in there you know you can find sugar in bread uh, you can buy whole grain bread that's had added sugar to it so you've got to be very careful um, I'll try and do some research on this and, and, and understand why uh, they might want to add sugar and aspartame together in these products but from what I can see it's really likely a case of the fact that they're just trying to make them super sweet uh, and that makes them super addictive um, and food, uh, western food, typical western food uh, is addictive that is why people eat too much of it um, that is why it's very uh, very detrimental to the health most of the food in the western diet is designed to be addictive um, it's it's no different to drugs sugar acts like a drug uh, in the body it causes addiction this has been shown uh, in animal studies uh, and therefore if you can add super sweet chemicals to foods um, if you can add lots of salt to foods if you can add lots of um, additives that the body responds to uh, in a particular biochemical way you can addict people to food uh, and just as drug pushers uh, addict people to their drugs the food manufacturers want you to be addicted to their foods so you go back and buy more of it so I would suggest that if you're not reading labels you really need to start having a look at these labels if you've not if you weren't aware that uh, aspartame is, is, is now put in alongside sugar uh, just do your own research go into the supermarket and have a look at some of these products you'll be amazed at what now contains aspartame there are yogurts uh, for example that are sweetened uh, with sugar and with aspartame there are uh, like I say soft drinks uh, that are sweetened with sugar and aspartame aspartame is increase, increasingly being used over a wider uh, and wider range of products and that means it's very difficult to avoid uh, if you consume these types of foods obviously I would advocate eating a whole food uh, plant-based traditional diet uh, and therefore it shouldn't be any concern uh, that these products are filled with aspartame but for those people that do consume them uh, and weren't aware I hope this has been uh, useful uh, if you want to like I say have a look at some of the metabolic effects of aspartame and some of the studies uh, that have shown how aspartame does cause toxicity uh, particularly some of the cancer studies uh, that have been done uh, on humans and animals uh, if you go to my blog 
uh, you can read uh, my uh, articles and my comments on those papers. So uh, the take home message from this is always read the label um, and try to avoid aspartame wherever you can.